In this video, we're going to talk about how to multiply numbers by estimation. So consider this example. What is 5,984 times 697? What is it approximately equal to? How can you do this without the use of a calculator? Well, looking at our answer, we could see that there are a lot of zeros. So what we're going to do is we're going to round the first one to the nearest thousand. 5,984 is approximately 6,000. Now we're going to do the same with 697. We could round that up to the nearest hundred. 697 can be rounded to 700. Now what is 6,000 times 700? What do you think the answer is? Well, here's a shortcut. Here's what you can do. First, multiply 6 and 7. 6 times 7 is 42. Now, what do you do next? Now, all we need to do is carry over the zeros. On the left, we have three zeros. On the right, in the second number, we have two zeros. So our answer is going to have five zeros. Now, let's put our commas. So the answer is about 4.2 million. Therefore, answer choice C is the correct answer. Now, if you were to do the math to get the exact answer, here's what you'll get. So let's multiply these two numbers the old fashioned way. So we have four times seven, which is 28, carry over the two, 7 times 8 is 56, plus 2, that's 58, carry the 5, 7 times 9 is 63, plus 5, that's 68, carry the 6, 7 times 5 is 35, plus 6, that's 41. Now, we need to add a 0 as we move to the next number. Next, we have 9 times 4, which is 36. 9 times 8 is 72, plus 3, that's 75. 9 times 9 is 81, plus 7, that's 88. 9 times 5 is 45, plus 8, that's 53. Now we're going to add two zeros. And then 6 times 4 is 24. Carry over the 2. 6 times 8 is 48 plus 2, that's 50. 6 times 9 is 54, plus 5, that's 59. And then 6 times 5 is 30, plus 5, we get 35. So add, and this is 8. 8 and 6 is 14, carry over the 1. 8 plus 1 is 9, plus 5, that's 14, plus 4, 18. 1, 1, and 8 is 10. 1 and 9 is 10, 3 and 4 is 7, so that's 17. 5, 5, 1, that's 11. And then 1 plus 3 is 4. So this, let's put the commas first. The exact answer is 4,170,848. But this number, we could round that to the nearest million. So that's approximately 4.2 million. So the estimation works. It's not exact, but it leads to the right answer based on the options that were presented. Now let's work on another example for the sake of practice. Number two, 798 times 897 is approximately equal to which of the following values? So for the sake of practice, feel free to pause the video and try this example based on how we solved the last one. So what can we round 798 to? 798 can be rounded to the nearest 100. So we could say it's approximately 800. And 897, we could round that up to 900. So now let's multiply. We're going to multiply 8 by 9, which is going to give us 72. And then we're going to count the zeros that we have. We have two in the first number and two in the second number. 
So our final answer should have four zeros. And so this is going to be 720,000. So therefore, answer choice C is the correct answer. As you can see, it's not that bad. It's not that difficult. Once you round, you just multiply, carry over the zeros, and then you get your answer. Now let's try the next example. 89,973 times 5,994 is approximately equal to which of the following values? So go ahead and try that one as well. So we could round the first number to 90,000. 89,973 is approximately 90,000. The second number, 5,994, we could round that to 6,000 because it's very close to it. So now let's multiply 9 by 6. 9 times 6 is 54. Next, let's count the number of zeros that we have. In the first number, there are four zeros. In the second number, there are three zeros. So our answer should have a total of seven zeros. Now we need to place our comma. So our answer is 548 million approximately, which corresponds to answer choice E. Now, let's try an example using three numbers instead of two. So estimate the value of 699 times 3,998 times 299. So go ahead and work on that example. Starting with the first one, we could round 699 to 700. The second number, 3,998, that's approximately equal to 4,000. And 299, we could round that to 300. So we're going to follow the same process. We're going to multiply these numbers. 4 times 3 is 12. And then 12 times 7. What's 12 times 7? Well, we could think of 12 as being 10 plus 2. 10 times 7 is 70. 2 times 7 is 14. So 70 plus 14 is 84. So let's write 84 as the first part of our answer. Now, let's count the number of zeros that we have. So in the first number, we have two zeros. In the second number, we have three. And in the last number, we have two. So two plus three plus two is seven. So we need to add seven zeros to our final answer. So let's put commas so we can see what the answer is. So the answer is approximately 840 million. And we could check it if we were to multiply 699 by 3998 times 299. The exact answer is 835585998, which is approximately 840,000. So therefore, answer choice E is the correct answer. Now, let's work on one final example. Estimate the value of 1,998 times 497 times 69,996. So this time, our rounded answers are written in scientific notation. So let's go ahead and work on this one. So 1998 or 1,998, we could round it up to 2,000. 497, we could round that to 500. And 69,996, we could round that to 70,000. So now let's multiply these numbers. 2 times 5 is 10. 10 times 7 is 70. So now we need to count the number of zeros that we have. 3, 2, and 4. 3 plus 2 plus 4, that's 9. So we're going to add an additional 9 zeros. So our answer is 70 billion. 
Now what we need to do is convert this number to a number in scientific notation. The scientific notation is very useful because it can help us to represent very large numbers in a, a simplified way. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the decimal point and move it to the left. So here we moved it three spaces, six spaces, nine spaces, ten spaces. So we could say this is equal to seven times ten to the ten because we moved the decimal ten units to the left. And so this is the final answer in scientific notation. That's how you can represent 70 billion. It's 7 times 10 to the 10, which means that answer choice C is the correct answer. So now you know how to multiply large numbers and how to estimate the answer uh, using this process.